Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, I'm gonna teach you ethnic scales. I'm gonna teach you how to hear and play the Arabic sound, the Latin sound, the Gypsy sound, the Baltic sound. It's all based on the same basic approach. The, the color of these uh, different scales is basically a minor scale. It's a minor sound with um, a slight uh, change and the change leads to having very short intervals one fret apart Okay, and very wide intervals three frets apart See you already you already hear that color Okay, one fret apart zero one three frets to four and then one fret more to five and That's our very very basic sound Right and you can play it on the second string as well. And if you try to play it on both, you get a really interesting scale. All right? And I played these two together. All right? Um, to show you how you can harmonize it very, very easily. Now, this approach. is very cumbersome because we don't want to move all over the neck. Now, what I did basically before we move on was take the same shape and play it from seven. So we got seven, eight, 11, 12. But there are, um, there are different ways to combine the intervals, the one fret, three fret sound. And of course, between five and seven, we have two frets. So this uh, full scale would be but this is the wrong way to go about it. The right way to go about it is to uh, to take a chord shape right? and by chord shape I mean the F shape. Right? Let's play it on 7. Okay, so we have 7, 7, 8, 9. Strings one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna take this chord up one fret to eight. And we're gonna play all of these notes. We have eight and seven on the first string. We have eight and seven on the second. We have 10 and eight on the third. And we have 10 and nine on the fourth. And this is our very, very, very basic ethnic scale. You can you can take the you can take a part of the chord, not all of it, but as you can see, this sounds Spanish. While if you start actually soloing in between, you get an Arabic sound, All right? And this is what I mean by ethnic scales giving you all those different sounds because they all share the same approach. It all depends on the rhythm that you choose and it all depends on your backing chords, right? But we're not talking about music yet. We're just talking about getting used to the scales. Now, if you want to really get into ethnic scales, you should know one thing. The Arabic scales, for example, they have quarter notes, so it doesn't really sound like this. It sounds something like this. Okay? Okay? A quarter note. We're not used to hearing that in our Western society. Right? But this is the real Arabic sound. Okay? It sounds like really off-key to us. But this is the true sound. So what we're doing here is an approximation. So this is the first thing we need to know. The second thing is that it's called makam, and the makams aren't 
eight notes long, they're four notes long. So basically when you're playing this, you're playing a full Arabic scale. And that's why when I did this, I told you that it's the wrong approach because these are two different scales. And the way to, to approach it is to, to actually give up the Western way of thinking. And by that I mean that in Arabic uh, music and in um, Greek music, bazooki music, they change the scales all the time to fit the song. The scales change continuously. Also in Indian music, but Indian music is a little bit different. It's uh, more based on the major scale than on the minor scale. Something like... Uh, no. Okay, something like this. Yeah, this is close to the one of the Indian scales, but Indian tonality is crazy, so let's forget that and focus on what I'm trying to show you. So you need to just grasp that concept. And the another makam would be okay, which is the we hear it as the Phrygian scale. If we take E minor, we have zero, two, three, five. And if we take the two down to one, we get the E Phrygian scale. Right? And we're used to thinking of the Phrygian scale as the uh, Spanish scale, because it's the, it's the relative of the harmonic scale, which we're used to thinking about uh, in terms of Arabic scales. Because we have this, the interval, we create a macon at the end of the harmonic scale. So I know I'm confusing you, but just bear with me, okay? It all, it's all gonna make sense at the end. I'm just explaining the, the way that you should listen to it, okay? I apologize for the, for the confusion. So basically, makams use both the Phrygian scale and the harmonic scale if we want to think about it that way. It's... Okay, this would be combining two different macons to create an E Phrygian harmonic scale. And in our way of thinking, that's a very, very difficult concept to learn around the neck. So I'm gonna give you more shortcuts. We had the F shape shortcut. Those keen eared among you have heard that I added an extra chromatic note in there. And the extra chromatic note is combining the scales. So, for example, if I'm doing right, the 7 and 8 on strings 1 and 2, right, I can add 6 on the first string and create a different ethnic scale. or six on the second string. Okay. Can you hear the change of color? Immediately changes. And that way you don't get the, the Spanish feel, you get the real feel of an ethnic scale. I told you it's all gonna come together eventually. And now you don't want to do it all together. I'm just showing you how you change the color every time you add an extra chromatic note. Now, let's take the D shape. Okay? The D shape on seven. So we have okay? seven, eight, seven again, but then we have eight, nine, eight, and then seven, eight, seven. And then we have, okay, we have 10 and nine on the fourth. But, we're going to use the ethnic approach of adding more chromatics. So, um, okay, and okay, and just experiment with it. Add different chromatics, add different uh, notes, change the shape. 
change the shape between the F shape to the D shape and then you get some really interesting sounds. See? Different approaches to the same idea. It's the same uh, one fret change, one fret apart, and then when you jump up, you're actually jumping the three frets. Okay? And if you vibrate it, then you might get those quarter tones in there. Okay? That's another trick. Now, I know I said Gypsy, Baltic, Latin, and Arabic, but I have been focusing on the Arabic approach because that's, in my opinion, uh, the most fun approach to this whole thing uh, because it really opens up your ear when you get used to this. You can solo over it for hours on end, I'm not kidding. And the Gypsy, Latin, and Baltic sounds actually take the minor scale and add some of this in. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time over that. I'm just going to give you um, some, some examples. We have E minor. Okay? And you take the E minor scale. I know that I kept playing it in an ethnic sort of way. It was the wrong tonality, but it was the E minor scale. Okay? So take any note of this scale, any note, and take it uh, one fret aside, no matter which side, to, to the left or to the right, and you'll get the ethnic sound. See, eight on the uh, third string instead of seven. See? And let's let's continue to try a different way. See? You get um, the 6 on the 4th string instead of the, the 10 on the 5th string, which is 5 on the 4th. So instead of this note, I just moved it 1 fret up. So I had, which is a different makam, one fret, two frets, one fret. Okay. You see how easy it is once you learn to hear it? It's all in your ear. You don't even have to know what you're playing. You just have to know the direction and the color you want to get out of it. It takes some practice. Yeah, I know, but, but you can do it. It's really easy. I, I don't want to say easy because it's not easy, but it's really simple. It's just one simple concept. One fret and try to jump different strings and play one fret apart. See? Um, I didn't hear it at first, and then I started hearing it. I was playing um, eight and um, eight and seven on the E string, and ten and nine on the B string. And can you tell what it is? It's again. It's a major chord. It's E. It was E, F, and E. I was just taking the A shape bar and moving it one fret up, and that's yet another major chord. The F major shape, the D major shape, the E major shape, you can take the, the A major shape and the E major shape, which is also the F major shape, just without these two notes. So basically, let's try this now and then finish this lesson. See? Immediately get the ethnic feel and the ethnic color to it, and let's add chromatics. See? Change the color. Okay, and it's really easy to harmonize.
right? You just take the shape and move it around. And that's why I said at the beginning of this lesson that it might sound like a lot of work, but once you get the trick, it's, uh, it's all in the ear. And once you learn to hear it and stop listening to it the Western way and start understanding that you can actually manipulate the scale while playing it, it starts being a lot of fun and you start having a blast uh, both with your creativity and with your guitar. And uh, it was my pleasure teaching you how to play this. And I'll see you in the next lesson. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, the button is right there. Click subscribe and keep updated. See you soon. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.